The following podcast was recorded on Thursday, March 11th, 2021, featuring Jim Bianco of Bianco Research. To hear the podcast in real time, you can sign up for a free trial at biancoresearch.com or arborresearch.com, or you can also email Gus Handler directly at gus.handler at arborresearch.com. You can also call Arbor Research and Trading at 1-800-606-1872. Thanks for your time and enjoy the podcast. Welcome to the latest edition of Talking Data. Our Talking Data series seeks to offer timely insights into the macro themes along with macro data and its impact on the economy and markets. I'm your host, Kristen Radish of Arbor Research and Trading. Our presenter today is Jim Bianco of Bianco Research. Today, Jim will discuss growth versus value rotation. Jim, economists are expecting booming growth. What's driving this? Yeah, so it really is quite amazing. If you go to the first chart, it shows the expectations of economists from a survey taken of about 50 economists by Bloomberg that's regularly updated. They're up to 5.42%, and that's up from 4.1% just six weeks ago uh, and three and three quarters percent around the election. So that is a huge move, and it's showing no signs of slowing down. Some of the highest forecasts by economists are 7%. If you go to the second slide, uh, if that forecast is right, that will be the fastest growth rate we've had since 1984. The fastest economy, the strongest economy in 37 years is what they're projecting. So it's been incredible. Now, what's been behind this? In a word, stimulus. A lot of people are looking at the stimulus that's been done, the CARES Act, the $900 billion that was passed in December. And tomorrow or Friday, um, uh, the, the 12th of March, uh, Biden is supposed to sign the American Rescue Act, which is the $1.9 trillion stimulus package as well, too. And on Thursday, March 11th, we're recording on this day tonight for us, Biden is going to give a nationally televised address to talk about what's next. Translated, they're not done. There's going to be an infrastructure bill and maybe even more after the infrastructure bill. So that's what's got everybody driving this idea that I dare you to, you know, top my forecast for how big a growth year we're going to have in 2021. It's quite incredible. For a lot of people, it's the fastest growth they've seen in their life, let alone in their career. Well, let's move next over to stocks. Stocks are exhibiting rotation from growth to value. What's driving this? Yeah, so if you look at the next chart um, with the orange and the green lines, the orange line is for traditional S&P growth stocks divided by the S&P value stocks. And what it shows, at least at this point, is that there's been a big change. First of all, the line for most of the last 10 years has been falling. Falling means that growth stocks have outperformed value stocks. I'm talking about the orange line for right now. And it is the largest outperformance of growth stocks over value stocks. Now that's reversed, and that's reversed quite a bit. And it's and it bottomed around September 1st uh, as well. The idea here that people are saying is, well, if we're going to have this booming growth and this reopening, you want to be back into the value stocks. You want to be playing the cyclical stocks. You want to be playing the financial stocks, the basic material stocks, the industrial stocks. You want to be playing those stocks over some of the healthcare and technology stocks, which are mainly in the growth sectors uh, as well, too. The green line on this chart shows something interesting. This is the technology versus financial ratio. So this is the largest sector of growth, which is technology, and the largest sector of value, which is financial. And that ratio is almost identical to the growth value ratio. So really the question becomes, is growth value really an interest rate call? Is the reason that this chart is turned around is because interest rates are going up. That benefits the, uh, the, the financial stocks because wider yield curves means more net margin. And it hurts the what we refer to as the long duration, richly valued technology stocks. <laughs> what makes their valuations work is low interest rates and higher interest rates hurts them. So is that really what we're seeing here in the growth value rotation is just it's about higher rates. It's not necessarily 
about you know a wholesale revision from growth to value. You mentioned uh, technology stocks. Next, let's move into how about reopening versus the disruptive technology stocks. Yeah, so what I was teasing with is, is growth versus value is largely technology versus uh, financial. So let's strip those out and let's look at, and these are a couple of Goldman Sachs indexes on the next chart. There's the, what they call the Goldman Sachs Global Health Risk Exposure Index. That's a mouthful. But basically, it is the reopening stocks. It is the airlines, the hotels, the gaming, the the cruise lines, the theme parks, the restaurants, and the mall-based retailers. So these are all the stocks that when the economy reopens, you would expect them to really take off. And then I'm comparing it to the another Goldman Sachs index, which is the non-profitable tech index, tech technology index, which consists of companies and innovative industries that don't create uh, profits. So it's the Neos, it's the DocuSigns, it's the Pinterests, it's the Ubers uh, uh, of the world. Um, Tesla's not in this in anymore because they actually do turn a profit. Uh, otherwise, they would be the, uh, the largest one uh, as well, too. So these are in another era a few months ago. We would call these the work from home stocks uh, <clears throat> as well to Zoom would be into this uh, would be in this category as well. And so what you find when you look at the ratio of those, because when we talk about growth value, I don't think a lot of people think, oh, technology versus financials. Rising rates hurts financials, uh, helps financials, hurts technology. That's what growth value is. I don't think they think that. I think what they think is they think the disruptive non-profitable techs, the DocuSigns and the Zooms versus the cruise ships and the gaming stocks and uh, the mall-based retailers. And that's what I'm trying to show here. This ratio is a little different than the growth value ratio. It bottomed three weeks ago. It didn't bottom in September. It has turned around meaning that the reopening or the health risk stocks, the stocks that are at risk with a pandemic, I've been doing better, but only for three weeks. And it's not clear if you put on your technical analysis hat that there's a clear breakout in these stocks and they may be reversing as we speak right now. So when you look at the growth versus value trade, it is really a, an interest rate play. And if I was to go to the last chart, uh, interest rates are moving up and so are inflation forecasts for the balance of the year. And they've been moving up quite a bit. Just two They've been added by two tenths of a percent just in the last week uh, or so. And this is despite the most recent CPI number, which everybody's saying, see, there's no signs of inflation. OK, well, economists are still upping their forecast even if there's no sign of inflation. So let me bottom line this for you. If this trade is really about higher interest rates, technology versus growth, that is the growth value rotation, <clears throat> the, it is predicated on this idea that higher interest rates are being brought about by expectations of booming real growth. But if you get any kind of inflation in that story, that would really upset the apple cart. Now go look at the reopening stocks versus the disruptive stocks, and that ratio is not as pronounced as growth value. Maybe what they're seeing is problems with the growth value relationship. Yeah, what you're getting is technology versus financials because rates are going up, but you're not getting it in reopening versus disruptive because maybe some of those rates going up is higher inflation, and that's not good overall. If it was really about just real growth, then those reopening stocks should be beating the pants, that's a technical term, beating the pants off of the disruptive stocks, and they're not right now. Any final thoughts for today? Yeah, I think this is an important topic to really get your head around because it drives to the message of what the market is trying to tell us. I hear all the time people, well, oh, uh, value stocks are outperforming, that means the economy is booming. Everything's better. Full stop. Thank you very much. There's nothing else to discuss. It's a little more nuanced than that, I think, for right now. Looks like it's more about interest rates, less about that the, the market might be thinking that there's this booming reopening coming, even though economists are looking for higher rates. So this story about growth versus value in the rotation is a little trickier than I think a lot of people are giving it credit for. 
Well, thank you, Jim, for your thoughts today, and thank you to our audience for joining us as well. As a reminder, Arbor Research and Trading is an institutional research and brokerage firm. Our two most prominent offerings are Bianco Research and Arbor Data Science. For further information, please contact Gus Handler at gus.handler at arborresearch.com. Have a great day.